Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ask the Professor, a crowd-funded, crowd-driven feature where we respond to your questions and comments on everything from economics to political philosophy to history to culture. All the things that matter to us in our life together as citizens. And today's question is from Isabel, and she says, what do you think of Maxime Bernier's People's Party and its possible effects on the next election? And I'm going to treat that as two separate questions, one of which matters to me a lot more than the other. What will its effect be on the next election? I don't know. My ability to call elections is somewhat limited. I said there's no way that the Trudeau Liberals could win in 2015. And there wasn't, actually. But then they swept the Maritimes. Who saw that coming? Uh, well, not me. And not you either, probably. Uh, but to worry a great deal, will Bernier split the vote and the seat count of the Tory party matters a lot more to you if you think that all we need to do is elect Andrew Scheer and everything will be great. If you look at his policy pronouncements, well, if you look for his policy pronouncements, looking at them is a bit tricky, so they're hard to find, and you say, that's it. That's the whole job. And then you go, well, how could Maxime Bernier put all this at risk? It's an outrage. What a sore loser. And you see some very angry Twitter comments, including well, you know what Twitter does to people, from people who aren't actually angry or obnoxious, but they're just incredibly bitter because they seem to have this view that politics is all about winning the election. Winning the election solves all your problems. And I don't see how anybody could believe that, having won an election. As long as you're losing, you could think, well, as soon as we win, it'll all be great. But, you know, if you're a liberal and you elected Justin Trudeau, do you really think everything is now fine? Uh, likewise, if you're a Tory and you elected Stephen Harper, you have to be pretty died in the wool not to recognize that he failed to do a lot of things that he should have done, like control spending or rebuild the military or you know, privatize the CBC, even that low-hanging fruit. Didn't come close to it. So my interest in the People's Party is that Maxime Bernier seems to me to be doing two things that are really important and very rare. The first one is he's saying what he actually thinks. And there's a huge advantage in people doing that. It allows for a frank, intelligent debate about policy options. If someone's a complete left-wing lunatic, but they say what they think, then you can talk, well, is that a good idea? Isn't it a good idea? What would happen if? Because they're not always hedging and doubling back and covering their traces and saying nothing you can grab hold of. Besides which, if someone is in the habit of thinking boldly and speaking frankly, and their views are absurd, well, they might change their mind, and then they'll become a real asset. The second thing, of course, is that Bernier's views are not absurd. Bernier is a libertarian. He is arguing that we have too much government in this country and that we need less government. And he's not going around wondering what the interest groups will say. Now, I happen to believe that he will do a lot better than people think because he's not playing the political game of which citizens are heartily sick. But whether he does well or not, I think we owe him a huge debt of gratitude for getting out there and saying what he thinks and thinking that we need more free markets. So I'm not a partisan. I don't have partisan affiliation. Uh, I'm, but I, I'm quite publicly disgusted with most politicians and particularly so many conservatives who aren't really conservative. You know, what is conservatism? In my view, you've got strong national defense, free market economics, traditional social values. And it's amazing. People have this reputation as ferocious conservatives because they're really partisan. But when you look at what they're standing for, there's very little of that in the platform and even less in the delivery. And I am really dismayed by that because I am a conservative. And if I'm going to get big government, I want to get it from advocates of big government. So I wish Maxime Bernier well in shaking up the political system, in forcing people to talk about what they actually believe in ways that are intelligible and let us build on it to have a sensible discussion. If you're enjoying Ask the Professor and you'd like to submit a question or comment, click here. This URL will take you to the right place on my website. And if you value this and the other things I do, and you're not already a supporter, click here, become a one-time or monthly backer of Ask the Professor and all my other work. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.